Good morning, dear friends, and welcome to the east side of New York City. And again, we're going to continue with our exploration of some hidden secrets, gems, and some histories uh, of the east side in the 50s uh, of Manhattan in New York City. And today we're going to explore and cover the history and story of Beekman Place, a very, very well-known area to be um, an exclusive residential area with various celebrities and famous people. Um, if you recall the film Auntie Mame, uh, her residence was in Beekman Place uh, together with a lot of other notables that we'll discuss later. But I'm not sure if anyone realizes the tremendous history um, that's just in back of me at Beekman Place, which actually is a hill or what was called a mount years ago. And the original history traced back to the Beekman family um, a descendant from the Netherlands and one of the original Dutch colonists who sailed over here with Peter Stuyvesant, who became the Secretary General of the new colonies here. And Mr. Beekman, uh, in 1647, settled in the South Street Seaport area and developed a leather goods business and prospered uh, in the city. Hence, you, you hear and see this name Beekman in Manhattan. There are two streets, Beekman Street downtown near the South Street Seaport, which is the oldest one, and then the newer Beekman, which is Beekman Place just behind me, but you'll also find streets named Beekman in the Bronx and Brooklyn and upstate New York, the famous Beekman Arms, the oldest inn in the United States located in Rhinebeck. So right behind me, a stretch of blocks and streets that really ranges from 49th Street and 1st Avenue to 52nd Street and 1st Avenue is the area known as Beekman. Beekman Place is actually up on a hill uh, behind me and behind this Beekman Tower building that you can see there, which overlooks the United Nations, uh, is a stretch of a few blocks that is very charming, very exclusive, upscale residential area. And it all became history and developed from the Beekman family, a descendant of the original Beekman, James Beekman, built a mansion there called Mount Pleasant. And of course, it was an escape from downtown. This was considered up in the country. And this mansion eventually during the war was occupied by the British in 1776. And in fact, the spy to the Patriots, Nathan Hale, was hanged there and passed away. The family then returned to live in the mansion till 1854, at which time a cholera epidemic occurred in our city, and the family left and left the mansion abandoned. Over a series of years, it became coal mills and lumber on that hill to eventually demolish the mansion and then create the few blocks which is now known as Beekman Place. So that's the story and the history of Beekman, Beekman Place, which now we're gonna go up the hill on Mitchell Place, which is at the very end of 49th Street and 1st Avenue, and explore the rest of Beekman and tell a little bit of the stories of the famous people who live and who live there. Welcome back, dear friends. And here we are up in the core of Beekman Place. And in back of me is one of the more famous homes, uh, number 17 Beekman Place, which actually was the home of the famous songwriter Irving Berlin. Very, very well known for White Christmas, God Bless America, Alexander's Ragtime Band, um, I, I Be Loving You Always, among many, many, many other songs which he wrote and lived here until 1989, when I believe he was 101. 
and in fact in tribute to Irving Berlin and his famous White Christmas song each year at the very end of the cul-de-sac here at Beekman Place in front of his house where that pole is, they have a Christmas tree with lights on it all during the holiday period in tribute to Irving Berlin. So at the moment, the house is actually the, the mission, the UN mission of Luxembourg, the famous uh, Benelux country uh, from Europe. And there are, of course, many other notable residents in this exclusive enclave, Huntington, Hartford, um, Happy Rockefeller, uh, the wife of the governor Rockefeller, the sister of the Shah of Iran, Bill Paley, um, Billy Rose, the famous entertainer, among many, many others um, living in this beautiful, charming blocks um, between 52nd Street and 49th Street um, on the east side and hovering along the East River. We're now going to explore the pocket park of Beekman Place, which also is quite beautiful, and that's just two blocks away at the end of 51st Street. Thank you. Nothing but blue skies do I see. Welcome back, dear friends. Here we are at the corner of 51st Street and Beekman Place, and another interesting piece of history here is the lamp pole that you see in back of me. It's actually one of the few original number 25 Bishop Crook poles that also were used for a fire alarm indicator back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. The rest of the lamp poles throughout Beekman Place are modern retrofit versions. This one, however, is an original and one of the few. Um, so if you ever see one like this with this curved garland design around it, and this little piece that sticks out that was at one time the fire alarm indicator. If you find this in New York City, you'll know that it's one of the originals going back 80, 90, or even 100 years old. There's another little piece of history of Beekman. Thank you. Birds all day long Never saw the sun shining so bright Never saw things going so right noticing the days welcome back to your friends and last in beekman place and certainly though not the least is another beautiful pocket park and again this is the far end of east 51st street and the east river and this particular pocket park has an, has a lot to offer there is a doggy run with a gated dog fountain so the dogs could drink water and you can let the dogs loose uh, in a protected area. There are games and benches and specific seating for children or people who want to play chess or checkers. There is this walkway that begins down the steep steps at the end of Beekman Place and 51st Street that goes across the FDR to the East River where there's a short promenade to do a run, a nice walk, to sit and read, meditate, but you could see all around me the beautiful gardens that are below this walkway. There's even a community vegetable and herbal garden that the community takes care of. But I'll just show you the beautiful vegetation that extends north as well as to the south of this wonderful pocket park here, um, which is also called the Peter Detmold Park. Um, right here in Beekman Place at the end of East 51st Street in the East River and right here in New York City for everyone to enjoy. Thank you, dear friends.